Hi everybody, I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as an aesthetic dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bangalore. See, penile injury after intercourse goes to various types. The commonest thing is when the foreskin is not retracting smoothly during an intercourse or during an erection, what happens is because of the act, there can be a lot of tear. So the commonest thing what we come across is the frenular tear. So there's a small skin tag like thing which is pulling, which is attaching the prepucial skin to the glans penis. And sometimes when there is a forced intercourse or a very hard intercourse, in those times that frenulum tears away. So when that tears, there can be a lot of bleeding because there are small vessels which are passing through this frenulum. So that usually is a emergency thing. So usually you need to consult a surgeon and get that artery stitched okay we suture it off second common thing what can happen is there can be small scratch marks or cuts which can happen on the skin when there is forceful retraction of the prepucial skin so these two things are common especially these things are seen many a times just after marriage so during the first intercourse these things happen another thing is if the opening of the prepucial skin is little bit smaller then what happens is usually it does not retract Forcibly, if you retract, it goes back and it gets stuck. If the retracted skin is not pulled in, pulled front, then what happens is it, it works like strangulation. So the head of the penis, the glans penis, gets constricted because of the thick fold of the skin. So that is called as paraphimosis. That's a medical emergency. Because unless you pull back the skin front, that can actually reduce the blood supply to the glans penis. This gives a lot of pain, there can be swelling, so you need to consult a doctor immediately. Third thing what can happen is, it can happen because of the oral intercourse. There can be a lot of nail uh, teeth marks or nail marks which can happen on the genitalia. So this is also one of the trauma which can happen because of intercourse. And lastly, what can happen, the worst scenario is, there can be fracture of the penis. So when the penis is hard and because of excessive movement or a wrong movement, what can happen is it can just break. In that situation, it gives you a lot of pain, swelling and it needs an emergency or treatment by an andrologist or a urologist. So these injuries ranging from a mild scratch to a tear which causes bleeding to a fracture of penis. These are the different types of injuries what can happen during an intercourse. So bleeding and other sudden severe swelling and, and uh, constriction of the glans penis requires an immediate um, uh, medical intervention. Whereas small scratches, they just heal on, on by, by itself or you need to take an antibiotic. If the teeth marks are deep, it is better you consult a doctor again because that can be a focus of infection because oral cavity has a lot of bacteria and that can give you a lot of infections. Even a TD injection is indicated if you have not got immunized properly because the nail marks are, or the teeth marks are quite deep. So take care and these are the types of injuries what can happen during an intercourse.